What do you think, Willie? Hmm? What do you think? You don't care? You don't care at all? You just want to be carried around in a baby Bjorn and call it a day? Cool. My vlog camera's doing some weird stuff today, so it's probably gonna be kind of annoying. But I am making breakfast right now. We've got Willie, my rescue breeder dragon, in tow. He's uh, got a little eye infection still going on, so he's gonna be cooking breakfast with us. I have a hair appointment today. Um, I showed you guys in one of my last videos, but a bunch of these hair extensions are just dreaded the F out. Like just, I don't know if this is in focus, but I take care of my hair extensions and these are just like past due for one and then they're all just like dreaded up in there. No, it doesn't look good. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's out of control. Okay, I'm gonna pop down here and grab some pots and pans. <sighs> so today I'm going to a stylist named Kelsey who I've never been to before. She was recommended to me by a friend of mine who owns a salon in La Jolla. She's trying something, oh, leaning on the burners. She's trying something new with my hair. She's gonna do like a hand tied situation here. I'm kind of like sick of the tapes. Like I love the tapes, like it's a love hate relationship. Love, hate, hate, love. Feel me like they, my hair is so thin and they have to be so close to my hairline because this hair is so short still. That, that's my real hair that they have to be all the way up here. And so anytime I try and like wear my hair up or like half up, like if I wanted to do like one of these right here, I can't because look, right there, right there. And then this part always gets lighter than my actual roots. And then if I wanted to wear it half up like this, this wouldn't work either because they're all right here. So basically I'm extremely limited with the hairstyles that I can do with these. Like this is pretty much it and like, Like I'll do it on, for Instagram and stuff, like to show hairstyles and stuff. But the back is always like, you can't wear that out in public. Like it's always like, it's not pleasant, it's not pleasant. I have that feeling right now, like when you have to pee, but you don't. I think that's a urinary tract infection. Is that, is that what's about to happen down there? Please, please God, no. Jesus, take the wheel. Use a little avocado spray. Oh, sprayed it all over the backsplash and everything. Got a little excited. Gonna pop these on there. These are my Morning Star original sausage patties. Oh my gosh, only have two left. Free range eggs. These are actually, I've been buying my stuff on Amazon Fresh lately and it is way cheaper than the grocery store. This 18 pack of eggs, free range, is, oh, they're also organic oh, on top of it. $3.99. You want that? Dude, these burners, I'm still trying to get used to the burners in my house. Half the time my breakfast comes out burnt, it's fine. This is the best bread in the world. And there you go. Oh, tight, there's only little plates left. <laughs> Y'all, this is uh, Kelsey. She's gonna be doing my hair today. Hi. Um, I, you guys are gonna, I'm gonna set the camera up behind me in a minute. And you guys can see she's got such a task ahead of her. <sighs> May the forces be with you. <laughs> she just fucking take the wheel on this one. <laughs> so dreaded. It's like the residue from the glue. What kind yes. of extension is it? So there is a mixture of the top was um, hot heads because I needed the hair all the way up because the original ones that were up there weren't, they were just showing too much, and then the other ones are Bellamy. So, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys a little pan of her salon. What is your salon called? Delta Apollo. So cute. I'm gonna give you guys a pan of it. It's like literally the cutest in here. And you, you put up a tree over here. So 
got all that shit out of my hair and by we I mean they did I didn't do anything <laughs> and I was just blogging saying that by we got all that out of my hair I mean you guys did <laughs> and I think what, what did we have in my hair Malibu treatment Malibu treatment, yeah. to try and get take out some of the blue blue is so stubborn so we'll see what happens here but yeah then that'll decide what we're gonna do with the rest of it She's mixing up some bleach please back there to try a test strand because the Malibu stuff is um, not for semi-permanent hair color and it didn't do anything, anything at all. It did dick. So <laughs> we're gonna try this out and see what happens. So a little bit of it's sitting in here. We're gonna see how well this lightens up and see what we can do from here as far as color goes. The new bowls are so cute. You can get those at arcticfoxhaircolor.com. Okay, we're gonna rinse you in about five minutes. There's still a little bit lingering here. But down okay. here where I started, you can see it's yeah pretty much all the way up. So it's pretty good. Looking good. It's getting there. Here's what we got from doing the bleach on there. It almost took it all the way out. So pretty cool. We're gonna do a little bit of highlighting around here and go from there and see what we're gonna do. You guys, look at this. This is so cool. I have not worn this up yet, but Kelsey, come in frame. <laughs> She's like standing on the side. Look how cool this looks. Like 57 tequila shots later and uh, here we and here are. We are. Yeah. <laughs> So if you, you can see in the back here, when she can wear her hair up, like this, and you won't see a thing, look at that, it's perfect. And then even, like if she, even if she wanted to do turn all the way around, she wants to do pigtails, you can literally part your hair and see nothing. It's pretty awesome. Yes, I'm excited to try this new extension style out. Looks so good. I'm excited. And also, I'm blonde, which Nick, that's his favorite uh, hair color. So this one's for you, Nick. <laughs> Bed cam, y'all. I came home straight from the salon, ate some food, and I'm so excited. I started watching <laughs> what Richie Rich wants for Christmas or what some version of the Richie Rich movie for Christmas. Anyways, I'm so exhausted. I didn't even have the time to grab my vlog camera on my phone. Um, heading back, uh, my hair looks really good. It's a lot less hair than I'm used to, so I'm gonna have to get used to this and see if I can deal with like how much less hair it is, because with tapins, you have a lot more hair. Look at this, like over here, doing whatever he's doing. What is it? Um, by the way, I will be doing a video about Frankie very soon. He's very good, he's very happy. Um, uh, anyways, it's really cool to have my hair up in a ponytail and you can't see extensions like right here. So pretty excited about that. Um, but only time will tell. I got to wear it for a little while. See what I think. Maybe we need to add a couple tape ins up here because this hair is like a lot shorter. We'll see what has to happen. But oh my gosh, my feet are freezing. It's 36 degrees right now in Nashville. I am so cold and so exhausted and... I really miss Nick. I'd like to cuddle with him right now. Hey guys, this is Kristen from February. <laughs> so I've had the hand tides now for a little bit of time. I just got back from the gym, so this is nothing fancy that's going on here. I just kind of wanted to tell you how I've been feeling about them. I've had them moved up once now. Um, I personally am loving the hand tied method. I can wear my hair up and it's virtually undetectable. I love that I can wear my hair up because so many days I just wanna throw my hair up and go and I can do that now. So because my hair up here is so thin, it makes it so that every time I go to sleep, I can't just wake up and have like bed hair and like roll out of bed. Like some people with like heavier hair that kind of weighs the kinks down. My hair is like cotton candy basically and it's so thin. So like every time I sleep on it, I have to style the whole thing. The extensions, the actual, like my hair, the extensions like together or I can't wear it out. So it has seriously been a game changer to be able to just throw my hair up and go to the gym and not even have to worry about like it showing or anything. Um, 
have found that it's a little more difficult to put the amount of hair that I want to put in here. Uh, but right now I think we have a good amount. We actually put one more panel up top here since um, the previous clips that you saw because I just needed more hair. Like um, before she was like, oh, it matches your natural density. I'm like, I don't like my natural density. Um, but she thought I was trying to match that. So there's a miscommunication there, but um, right now this is really good. I am noticing that this specific hair, I don't know what brand this is, is feeling a little bit ratty to me. It's um, getting tangled a little bit more than I'm used to and not really brushing out well. Like I, it's already tangly and I've, I just brushed this all out and washed it today. So it, this, this specific hair, I wish I could be more helpful and tell you guys what brand it was. I'm not really sure, I'll have to ask Kelsey. Um, but this particular one for me is a little, is a little, a little not soft enough for me. But overall, I mean, it's pretty good quality hair. But yeah, I highly recommend the hand tied if you are interested in wearing your hair up and you need the extensions or are wanting them for as much fullness and length as I have. Some people can get away with just a few tapes and it's fine. Um, I need a lot of hair. So this has been so amazing not to have to worry about the tape showing. And even when the wind blows, I'm not as worried about it. Like my hair parting and you being able to see the extensions, you just can't see them as much. You do really have to get in there and brush the, the, the base of them and then flip it and then brush that too really gently because they do um, tend to get knotted up there a little bit faster than the tapes I find. But the tape sometimes would slide down and that glue or that tape would get, would create like dreads, which is what you saw in the beginning of this video. So that was not, I mean, slightly probably a lack of me not brushing it quite as much as I should, but I take pretty good care of my hair. And that is mostly a result of the tapes just not being, the sandwich is not being placed exactly accurately, which is, you can't avoid that. Um, and it just kind of the hair getting stuck to it and your own hair shedding out as well and then getting wrapped up. So there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Unfortunately, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I highly recommend Hand Tied. I'm loving them so far. And uh, let me know what you guys think below. What, what uh, extension methods have you tried? What do you find to be the best? I feel like I've almost tried everything out there. And this has been by far my favorite. The only one that I haven't tried, I think it's the only one that I haven't tried, is the... Um, the carrot tip or the car uh, carrot, the like little bond ones that like you have to get new hair every single time you do them. Those ones that they melt onto the hair, I have never tried those ones. I just, people have been telling me that they're kind of damaging to the hair and then it's kind of expensive because you have to buy new hair every single time you get them moved up. So, and that it's, it's not always as much hair as you would want and it also takes forever. So that, that's the one I haven't tried, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think, like what methods you've tried, what works for you. I'd love to kind of get that dialogue going and kind of read what you guys have to say because you guys, also know a lot about hair. So very interested to see. Let me know in the comments below and we will chat in the next video. Bye guys.